first we will open the program by clicking on the icon of course um, we will go to show templates and then we choose large objects millimeters because most of the software programs work with millimeters so this is the opening screen we will have like four windows which all represent uh, a specific uh, yeah, how do you say angle towards the uh, the drawing so this is the perspective view if you keep the right mouse button clicked you can rotate it this is the top view so from above front obviously from the front and the right if you want to change the views you can set the views uh, here so if you need the left view instead of the right view you can change it um, Rhinoceros is a program which mainly works with uh, either surfaces or solids. And maybe the best way to explain it is that, for instance, a solid is like uh, a block of plaster. It's completely closed. It's completely filled with plaster. So it's like a solid object with no cavity or no hollowness, where, there, where surfaces are actually empty inside so they are like a small matchbox for instance with no matches inside so you only have the outside walls if the matchbox kind of is similar to the, the the plaster solid so to say from the outside you you can't really see the difference so if i would draw like a, a cube or a box like this then now I choose the solid command, so I will make it shaded so you can see. I mean, it looks like a solid and it is a solid, so it's completely filled inside. But at the same time, if I would explode it, I would kind of keep the same object. But something has changed because, because that, uh, of the fact that I exploded it, um, it now contains surfaces. So if I would delete one surface, you can see it's like a hollow box now. In a way, this is the difference between a poly surface, which I will join again, and a uh, solid. So the solid looks exactly the same from the outside, but it's considered to be completely filled, where the poly surface also looks exactly the same as the solid but it's supposed to be hollow inside. I mean, it's a different difference in approach. It's a difference in, in how to see the object or to consider the object. This also explains um, the reason why in Rhino there are like surface commands and solid commands. Rhino in that sense is a, a two-way program. You can use poly surfaces, uh, you can use solids. And, but you can also kind of combine them because, like I just showed you, uh, a closed poly surface is more or less the same as a solid. So you can uh, join them or do other things with them. Well, if you really want to start simple, under the solid uh, commands there is like all sorts of shapes that you can start with. Cylinders, spheres, ellipsoids, uh, cones or pyramids or whatever. So I just want to show you some easy things. I just drew a box, I will do it again. So a box is nothing more than drawing something like this. I mean, it kind of is rather easy. I also draw a sphere, like here maybe. I can, in the different windows, I can drag the, the objects around if I like. So now I have two solids but they are not joined they are not part of each other but i can do several things with them so if i would for instance duplicate this constellation with the copy command i will make like three of them next to each other and i will do something which is called boolean there are actually three three ways of boolean something you can boolean union which means that i kind of combine two shapes together so now, as you could, can see, I join them, not so much join them, I boolean them. I, they are kind of melted together now. 
but I could also do a boolean difference if you keep the, the icon clicked with the left mouse uh, button you get a whole new amount of commands for instance boolean's different boolean difference if I would click on the box I would press enter and then click on the sphere look what happens it will actually delete the shape um, and, and make a hole or a cavity in the in the cube. I could also do it the other way around. Uh, I first click the sphere and then I click the cube. Wait, sphere, cube. And then it kind of retracts the, the cube from the sphere. So the other way around. And then there is a third one, it's called the Boolean intersection, this one. If I would click this one, I would click this one. Then it kind of calculates the difference between the two shapes. So these are very easy commands to kind of combine solid shapes together. And when I kind of would, for instance, draw a base, something like this, we will see that later in, in a, an assignment. And I would draw, uh, wait, I would draw a sphere. I could, for instance, make keys. This one I will mirror. These two I will mirror like this. Then I have like spheres. And I could use, for instance, the Boolean union command to combine two spheres with the base, with the block. And I could use the Boolean difference command to kind of make uh, a cavity. We will see that later in, a, in an assignment. So the Boolean, uh, the, the, the solid command is a really easy way to work with shapes. And there is also other ways to for instance, make uh, solids with, and that you can do with uh, the curve commands. There are some curve commands for rather simple, if I would, for instance, draw this, very stupid shape, but it's kind of this, this object. I mean, it's, it's totally nothing. It looks like an Illustrator file, but I could, for instance, make this revolve. So in a, on a very easy way, I can actually make a 3D rotated object from it. I could also, for instance, draw a shape in the front window and extrude this curve to get a solid shape another way of, of creating something. I show this because I just want to, to make you see that there is like uh, different ways of, of getting a shape. You can start directly with solid commands or you can start with drawing uh, curves which you can extrude or rotate or revolve simply just to create uh, objects. I mean, I could also, for instance, do the same thing again, extrude planar curve, but then taper it. So it, it's creating an angle. Let's make the angle five degrees. I mean, it's not difficult to see like a small cup in this. Uh, I could copy it. It would be an extended cup. <laughs> I could Boolean union these to make it into one shape. So I'm showing you this to, to kind of give you an idea of what commands you can actually use to uh, build uh, shapes with. 